Hello and welcome back to Movie Health Community, the internet's number one source of health warnings at the movies. As always, please keep in mind that nothing produced by Movie Health Community is medical advice, nor has it been reviewed by any medical professionals. Little backstory here. When I first arrived in high school, I had some really curly hair. Here's a picture of it. And coincidentally, right as I entered high school, just over that previous summer, the movie Napoleon Dynamite had come out. And I had a lot of the same neurodivergent and Mormon oddities that Napoleon Dynamite had. So everybody in my school decided they wanted to call me Napoleon. So that was my high school nickname. And what does that have to do with this movie? Nothing but the name. Let's get into it. Napoleon is the newest war epic by Ridley Scott, and it's the newest time Ridley Scott has put Joaquin Phoenix on a throne. If you're new to Movie Health Community, the first question we always ask here is, is this movie safe for photosensitive viewers? The answer is mostly. During several of the battle scenes, there are rapid successions of firing muskets and firing cannons. And in the first battle sequence, there are also some explosions resulting from those cannons happening in some rapid succession. They may cause a minor strobe effect. For flashing lights, we are giving Napoleon a 3 out of 10. Light caution, but if you're extra sensitive to flashing lights, like really, really sensitive, this movie may be a little bit risky. In terms of camera motion, this movie is mostly done really smoothly. I'm very thankful that the battle sequences were filmed with very smooth cameras. During some hand-to-hand -hand fighting sequences though, like one-on-one -on -one hand hand-to-hand fighting, there is some shaking camera work. There are two mental health triggers to put on this movie. One is gore. The battle scenes are quite gory. There is one scene where some of that gore very suddenly happens to a horse. And then the other warning we want to give, and this is actually a kind of a praise as well, is the fact that this movie depicts a very toxic marriage. This movie could help in learning how to recognize a toxic marriage or a toxic relationship. Now, is Napoleon any good? I gotta say, for historical war epics, this one is top tier. I won't say that they're my favorite genre of movie, but this one did really good. If I do watch this movie again, I don't think I'll watch the entire thing. I'll probably just put it on and watch the battle sequences. But in a nutshell, I would say if you enjoy Braveheart, then you will enjoy Napoleon. There was definitely some CG at work, but it was never obvious, and so it was used extremely well. I know that some of it was probably CG, but there were so many extras in this background, and I loved to see that. The soundtrack is excellent. I'm not sure how much of it is original score and how much of it is stock classical music or previously existing classical music but it's all used in this movie really well. And if there is original score blended with the classical music, it blends really, really well. I saw this movie in IMAX and the sounds of the cannons and all the weapons was so good on these IMAX speakers. The scenes dealing with Napoleon's personal life do run a little slow and a little long, but really the centerpiece of this movie is these epic battle sequences, and I can't think of a better word for that than epic. I am going to give Napoleon a B plus. Thank you so much to our readers on Tumblr and Facebook, and as always, an extra special thanks to our patrons over on our Patreon page whose names are scrolling on this side of the screen like credits right now. Be sure to leave a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when we post new videos. Leave a comment on this video if you have anything to add to the discussion, especially if you disagree with anything that I've said here. We love hearing from everybody. And as always, stay safe at the movies.